Our news at this hour, taking a stand against hate. An international group of Jewish leaders made a special visit today to the Capitol. They came to the Treasure State to convey a simple message. Thank you to Montana's leaders and citizens for standing up in the face of anti-Semitism. MTN's Mike Dennison was there. Rabbis from as far away as Montreal in Canada and Washington, D.C. came to Helena Wednesday to thank Governor Steve Bullock and others for condemning recent threats made against the Jewish community in Whitefish. Thank you for being a voice of reason, a voice of understanding, a voice of love and compassion for the Jewish community in Montana during this weird era that we've just experienced and hopefully have finished. The threats came from a white supremacist website, the Daily Stormer, which also attempted to organize an armed march in Whitefish this week. The march was postponed, although Whitefish officials have said if the Daily Stormer meets certain permit conditions, it could proceed. Bullock welcomed the rabbis and said he'll continue to stand for what he called Montana values. The values of Montana are values for caring for one another without regard to our faith, our background, what happened in Whitefish. That's not who we are. Certainly is uh, the governor will continue to underscore who we are and what will and won't be tolerated acceptable in the state like ours. The rabbis also met with legislative leaders, including House Speaker Austin Knutson and Whitefish Representative Dave Fern. They presented a Jewish religious text, the Humash, to Bullock and legislative leaders and planned to distribute a copy to 1,500 Jewish families in Montana. The rabbis also said they plan to raise money to take four Whitefish area high school students on a trip this spring to Poland to visit sites of former Nazi death camps. They say first-hand education about the Holocaust can show how far hatred can go. When you deal with darkness, and you can't fight darkness with hatred. The only way to fight darkness is with light. But most of all, the rabbis just wanted to say thank you and keep up the good work. We understand that you have been a true friend behind the scenes and in front whenever is necessary. You have been a true friend for the Jewish community and we are grateful for that. We hope to inspire you to, to be a source of strength in the future for the Jewish community that these horrible threats and terrible words of bullying and intimidation never come to reality. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Mike says the rabbis visited Whitefish this afternoon. They plan to fly home this evening.